Hello folks, this is Jamil Sir for Gun Circle Reviews. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona with Enlo Custom Guns with Marty. How you doing, man? Good. Okay, Marty, we have our Bear Creek Arsenal um, 9mm AR. Mm -hmm. And I said in the video, because of the brutal recoil of 9mm on a carbine, we're going to put a muzzle brake on it. Okay. Okay, TACCOM uh, is a, a product that we've used in the channel before. They make uh, all sorts of accessories in the three gun world. That's why they're called TACCOM 3G is their website. Okay. And I wanted an, a, a comp or muzzle brake for nine for nine mil. Well, there's two threat patterns for nine mil, half by 28 and half by 36. Hmm. This barrel happens to be half, half by, by 36. 36. Yep. And there aren't that many options in nine millimeter brakes. And yeah, there are some, but not as half by 28. Mm -hmm. But TACCOM, we've used theirs, the old design, um, two port comp in other carbines, like the Ruger carbine and the uh, uh, Sub 2000. And they were great. So now I'm going to ask Marty to remove the flash hider that comes with the rifle mm -hmm. and install this one quickly. Um, Marty has done a bazillion of these, so if you want to look back on some of those, we're not going to waste our time doing the same thing over and over again. With the magical television, I'm going to give it to him, and he's going to go ahead and give back to me all done. So cut, and we'll be back with a finished product, and then we'll take it to the range and talk about the differences in it. And Mark, Marty will give us some uh, pros and cons of working with an aluminum brake. Okay, it is installed. We, instead of using a crush washer, we used what, a peel we washer, a peel that, washer. Uh, came with it. Came with it, mm -hmm. so it's, it worked okay. Mm -hmm. There's some magic measuring and it works. Now, Marty, give me the pros and cons of using a aluminum brake on anything. Well, I mean, uh, the pro is it's a little lighter weight. Um, uh, I, I suppose the bigger con is that, uh, you know, uh, they heat up quicker. Uh, they, they go through a lot more uh, dramatic uh, thermal expansion as opposed to steel. So mm -hmm. you could have uh, tolerances loosen up, so to speak. I mean, we, we crush it down there pretty good with the peel washer, but... Uh, uh, the steel is going to expand at a different, uh, a different rate than, uh, say, the, uh, the aluminum. So you could, in theory, have uh, uh, the material yield quicker okay. type of thing if it, if it's, it has a potential to loosen up. Uh, and uh, also, uh, just through shooting, it would erode uh, more quickly. So, uh, you know, you, you don't really see muzzle brakes wear out that much. Nope. Um, you know, M14s were kind of known for having their flash suppressors uh, break, split because, through erosion. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I suppose it's possible, but uh, I haven't run that many aluminum brakes, so I, I really couldn't say de definitively what, uh, what the issues could or couldn't be. I know, I know that uh, with AR-15s, they can occasionally run into uh, some of those thermal expansion issues with uh, uh, aluminum gas blocks where... Uh, Let's say they're not set set tight or something, they can start to shift or, okay. or things like that. Yeah, but uh, you know, it, but as far as it goes, I mean, it, it looks great. Um, went on nice and easy, and I mean, uh, you know, uh, obviously, if you have a, 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 a proprietary thread pattern, you're you're kind of stuck with whatever you can get, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, as far as that goes, I mean, uh, yeah, you know, we're gonna take it to the range and and put it through its paces. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not that much of a difference on 9 mil. No. Okay? We're just being facetious here sure. and just being sarcastic. But, yeah, I mean, sometimes a break helps. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it just doesn't do a difference. Here, we'll see if it makes a big difference. Right. So we'll take it to the range and try it. So thanks, Marty. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, like always, like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. And please remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range.